In this video, we are going to discuss one more gate problem related to stability analysis. So, here you can observe this problem, this is given in gate 93. So, here the problem is in order to stabilize the system shown in figure, Ti should satisfy. So, here Ti value they are asking. Ti should satisfy the condition to say the system is stable. So, Ti need to satisfy one of these conditions given in options to give system stable. So, here they given a block diagram related to a system and here to get the stability analysis we require route array. How we will get route array? When we are having characteristic equation then only we will get route array. But here to get that characteristic equation, we need to evaluate this block diagram first. So, that means, so you can see what characteristic equation means. Up to now, we are going to consider the characteristic equation to write the route array. That characteristic equation is nothing but the denominator of our transfer function. That point is very important. So, that point will give you so many solutions in gate problems. So, here transfer function T of S is equal into so G of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S form. So, 1 plus or 1 minus 1 plus in case of negative feedback 1 minus in case of positive feedback. Whatever the denominator of this transfer function is there that we are going to consider to write the route array. So, for example, in previous problems, we already solved so many problems related to stability analysis. There we used to have some characteristic equation to write the route array. That characteristic equation came from here only. If they given the characteristic equation of the system is given means they given the denominator of your transfer function. So, now they did not given any characteristic equation, we need to find out the characteristic equation and by that we need to write down the route array and by that we need to determine the stability of the system. So, now here this is my block diagram. So, here for characteristic equation, I need to consider, I am considering my characteristic equation as Q. So, Q is equivalent to 1 plus G of S into H of S, this must be equivalent to 0 when you are considering as equation. So, 1 plus G of S into H of S, as you know that your feedback H of S is equivalent to 1. So, you can see a unity feedback here, so your H of S is equivalent to 1. So, your modified characteristic equation will be 1 plus G of S is equivalent to 0. But here G of S is nothing but open loop gain. But here we are having two gains in open loop. Those two gains are in series. So, we know block diagram reduction steps. When two gains are in series, we can multiply those two gains and we can consider as the resultant path gain. So, here 1 plus STI divided by S into 1 by S into 1 plus ST we can consider it as two gains in series and we can multiply it to get a single gain. So, this is what we are writing for G of S. G of S is nothing but 1 by 1 plus STI divided by S into 1 by S into 1 plus ST. We are just multiplying these two. So, what will happen when we multiply these two? So, here that implies 1 plus 1 plus STI divided by, so I am just multiplying these two denominators, so S square into 1 plus ST. So, I am just cross multiplying here, so here this is equivalent to 0, right? So, I am just cross multiplying and sending this denominator to into 0. So, resultant is, so S cube T s cube t plus s square plus s t i plus 1 is equal to 0. This is my resultant characteristic equation came from this block diagram. 
by this characteristic equation now i can draw write my router to write router you need uh, you know you need to consider a line like this and you need to consider the maximum s power to minimum s power so here maximum s power is s cube so starting from s cube in descending order you need to consider all your s powers i consider all my s powers in my characteristic equation so now first two rows of our route array need to be filled by the coefficients of this characteristic equation so that means here the coefficient is t here the coefficient is 1 here the coefficient is ti and can constant is 1 so s power 0 coefficient is 1 so now s cube how we can write that means so like this a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 like that we will fill the two rows that means t and here 1 and here ti and here 1 so it's over no more elements are there for example if you got any other element here you can put zero here and you can close the array but this characteristic equation is limited to only four quotients so we'll get only two columns in our router so now to get value here so i need to multiply these two sides like this 1 into ti so 1 into ti minus t divided by 1 divided by 1 means ti minus t only to get this value i need to multiply this set with the cross set there is no cross set so you just imagine 0 0 so 1 into 0 minus t into 0 divided by 1 so you are going to get 0 only and coming to s power 0 term always in route array s power 0 term is equivalent to constant term an you can you can observe that video related to route array how we need to form route array so always s0 is nothing but an or constant term in characteristic equation that is equivalent to 1 now how we can say how we can say the system is stable what is the condition to say the system is stable in this given options which condition will gives the stability they are asking so after forming route array you know the condition for stability to say the system is stable all that first column elements in our route array must be positive that means greater than 0 so if you see if you want to say the system is stable t must be greater than 0 so here i am having t so that's why that must be greater than 0 and ti minus t ti minus t also must be greater than 0 and here i am having one here i am having one 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 is greater than 0 only so now t greater than 0 condition they didn't given any condition like that coming to this point from this i can write ti must be greater than t so ti must be greater than t will be the right condition to say the system is stable so this given in option d like this way we need to determine the condition for stability from a unknown value in the characteristic equation or in the black diagram in stability analysis